Hi everyone, welcome to Baby Time. I'm Andrea from the Wilmette Public Library and we're gonna do some songs and rhymes and bounces and tickles today and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me today. We're going to sing, hi, hello, and how are you? Can you wave your hand? You can wave your hand. You can sing, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? And then we clap hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? And I mean, at this age, and even the toddlers, you'll just, you'll find they're just going to observe. They're going to do a lot of observing because this is so new to them. And that's fine. I don't expect a lot of participation. Um, a big part of baby time is so to for grown-ups to learn some new songs and rhymes that you can do later um, at bath time and feeding time and on the bus or wherever you are during your day. These are some fun rhymes and bounces you can you can do with your babies, and they're a great bonding experience. Let's sing it again. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? Yay! Okay, babies, let's try another clapping song, okay? It's the same tune. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. So there's a nice hug at the end of that one. Should we sing that again together? Let's clap and then do a hug. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. Yay. <laughs> okay, we're going to sing bumping up and down in my little red wagon. This is a great one in the lap, um, or if you're in the stroller or in the car or on the bus, this is a great uh, song to sing. It goes like this. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? So we sing it again. Babies love repetition and they learn from repetition. So we're gonna do everything a couple of times at least. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Isn't that a nice one? I love that one. Here's another one you can do um, when you're traveling around. Uh, it's called a smooth road. First, we're going to sway on a smooth road, like that. Ooh, yeah, like that. And then we're going to um, gonna go over uh, a rough road. It's a little bit rough, little bounces. And then we're going to go over some potholes, some real Chicago potholes, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, like that. And then at the end, there's a hole. So at the hole, you, if your baby's in your lap, <laughs> I laughed. If, if the baby's in your lap, you can go down between the legs or you can lean back. Oh, -ho! okay. Let's try it. Here we go on our trip. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Look out for those holes. Shall we do it again? A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. Uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> Did you fall in a hole? Oh, your grown up will always pick you up again. 
Okay, we're gonna do a little tickle. Who likes to be tickled? Me, I'm kind of sort of okay with it. Okay, a lot of babies like to be tickled. Only if your baby's enjoying it, you can draw a circle on baby's palm. We're gonna do roundabout wee mousey. Goes like this. Roundabout, roundabout wee mousey. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. <laughs> Is that silly? Let's do it again. Bear, do you want to do it? I'm going to do it on Bear's belly. I know they want to see Bear. Roundabout, roundabout, wee mousey. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> Surprise. Is that fun? Okay, uh, let's do TikTok. This is our cuckoo clock song. So bear is gonna be a clock. Can you sway like this? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, stop. What time is it? It's one o'clock and then we lift one time. Cuckoo. <laughs> yep. Let's do it again for two o'clock. Tick tock. Tick-tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick-tock, tick-tock, stop. What time is it? It's two o'clock, Miles. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> Ready for three o'clock? Tick-tock, tick-tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick-tock, tick-tock, stop. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> you like that one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play peekaboo. I'm gonna play peekaboo with my scarf. Do you like peekaboo, Miles? Peekaboo. Where'd it go? Peekaboo. <laughs> and I have a peekaboo song. Do you wanna hear it? Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peekaboo. We want our grown-ups to do that? <laughs> I'll do it again so you can remember the song. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peekaboo, yay. I see Miles is learning about the settings already. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um, I have another scarf song. This is called Bar of Soap. This is a fun song to sing at bath time. And you can um, teach baby about different body parts and then um, sing the song. So uh, I like to ask, where is baby's head? Where is your head? There it is. There's my head. <laughs> where is your nose? There's your nose. That's my nose. Yeah, you know where your nose is. How about your your chin? Where's your chin? Chin. I'm gonna wash my chin. I'm gonna wash my nose. I'm gonna wash my head. <laughs> oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, it's slippy and it's slidey over everybody's hidey. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. That's the bar of soap song. Should we sing it again? Again. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, it's slippy and it's slidey over everybody's hidey. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Yay! Good job. Now you're all clean. All clean. <laughs>
So we've been learning um, baby signs or American Sign Language in baby time because it's so helpful to um, help your babies communicate with you. Um, so we learned milk in this session, milk. And we also learned more. And we sang a song that went like this. I love it when I drink my milk, drink my milk, drink my milk. I love it when I drink my milk. May I have some more? More is such a helpful one to know. Oh, Henry knows more. <laughs> more. And they might do it like this, or they might do it like that, but they don't have to do the sign perfectly. You'll understand your baby just like you understand when they when they talk to you. At, you know. But um, their listening vocabulary comes first. And so they can understand a lot of what you're saying before they can uh, verbalize and then speak. So um, sign language helps them communicate back to you um, what they need. Um, another one that's super helpful is hurt. And with hurt, you put your two pointer fingers together and do a little twist, hurt. And what's cool about this sign is you can move it to where it hurts. So um, growing ups, next time you stub your toe or bang your foot, do the hurt. Oh, I hurt my head or I hurt my knee. And um, it could be really helpful. There's a great story about a baby who was teething and woke up in the night crying and the parents didn't know what was wrong. And the baby signed hurt on his mouth. And, um, and they understood that his mouth hurt and it was a tooth coming in and they were able to help him. Um, so it will relieve a lot of frustration for baby and for you. Hurt. All right. Um, let's shake our shakers. Do you have a shaker toy in hand? If not, you can just shake your fist. You have a shaker, yay! You are prepared. Okay, um, we're gonna shake our shakers up high. Can you shake your shaker high? Yay! Can you shake your shaker down low? Can you shake your shaker to the side? Can you shake your shaker all around? In a circle. Ooh. You are ready for this song. Here we go. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them over your shoulders. Shake them over your head. Shake them over your tummy and tuck them into bed. See my shakers going to sleep. Should I wake up that shaker? Wake up, shaker. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them over your shoulders, shake them over your head, shake them over your belly and tuck them into bed. Good night, shakers. <laughs> Isn't that fun? All right, we only have two songs left. Can you believe it? I'm gonna do our last two songs on, on my ukulele. Bear's gonna stay here and listen. All right, close enough for folk music. Um, this one is a lullaby. If you're looking for a new lullaby for bedtime, this is a really nice one. It's called Yo Te Amo, which means I love you in Spanish. And um, you can insert other ways to say I love you in your home language or other languages you know, or you can say I love you in English. Here we go. Yo te amo, yo te amo. All day long I sing this little song to you. Yo te amo, yo te amo. Darling, I love you. Isn't that nice? Does anyone have another way they say I love you? You want to unmute and um, say how you say I love you? Anybody? I know. I only know French and English and Spanish. Why don't we sing it in French? Uh, French is uh, je t'aime. So we'll sing je t'aime, je t'aime. All day long I sing this little song to you. Je t'aime, je t'aime, darling, I love you. Isn't that nice? 
I'm so distracted by how cute they are. I'm like forgetting what I'm doing. Okay. Um, and then our last song in baby time is The More We Get Together. So let's sing together. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! You want to see this better? This is my ukulele. See the strings? Oops. These are the strings. And these are the tuning pegs. And I strum it right here. They're very interested in that. <laughs> uh, when we do in person baby time, all the babies come up and strum the ukulele after. And we'll do that again someday. You'll come to the library and you can strum it. All right. Thank you for coming today, babies. We're going to stop the recording. Uh, so thank you all for coming. And um, we're taking a week off next week. And then we'll be back. Next week, we got some really fun wiggle worm shows from the Old Town School of Folk Music on Tuesday and Thursday morning. So be sure to sign up for those. Okay. All right. Bye, kids.